guys if you guys are new to my channel uh, I'll just tell that Kofamba is a 30 day coffee painting challenge so moving on with the day 8 prompt it was broken and so it was just a very I would say sunny day and it's been winter in India here and it's it's quite uh, rare when you get to see the sun in the area where I live and um, so I just decided on doing this uh, really nice piece uh, it was just uh, I, I felt like doing a character for the word broken but uh, initially I was uh, planning on doing some like uh, an individual made up character but then I just thought why not make a really nice and simple girl sitting around with a broken uh, bowl of soup in her hand and I, I just wanted to incorporate the word broken into this uh, theme which I was doing and moreover I, I felt like doing uh, this girl for this prompt because I have been wanting to do some uh, nice portraits of girls and guys uh, mostly girls and and that is why I did this uh, prompt. I actually did uh, do uh, a research, like I actually looked up for photographs or I would say models uh, uh, for picture references. And it's it's very easy. You can uh, just Google it, or there are nice pages on Instagram where you can catch hold of nice portraits and portrait photography. So I actually decided on doing this uh, really nice time lapse because I am actually slow while uh, sketching out or drawing out my lines and I felt like uh, just doing a time lapse would uh, do much better or just do justice <laughs> to you guys because I don't want to make my videos long enough and yeah that was my final piece and I really adore the way it looks and and she turned out to be very pretty not it's up to the mark but pretty enough and yeah the day was beautiful so moving on with day nine it was the prompt was slow so moving on with this nice prompt i i couldn't think or come up with uh, anything with this prompt though I have taken up this challenge and I've started it on my own but I haven't actually pre-planned for any kind of for any of the prompts and uh, so I, initially I was uh, planning on doing some kind of some kind of scenery uh, maybe a slow flowing stream or maybe hummingbird I think I would have done much better job so moving on with uh, the prompt here, I actually went in with this uh, very simple prompt and uh, I actually initially I was planning on doing a simple snail but uh, as snails are really slow in their uh, gait I would say or walk the way they move slowly so I thought snail would be a perfect um, character for this prompt and and then I felt like doing something different with this so as you can see his eyes look different and and I think I actually uh, was inspired by uh, Jake Parker's uh, like the way he makes um, makes up stuff like I recently went to his page and actually saw some food bots and uh, that actually inspired me. I, I've actually done a food bot um, sketch. If you want to see, I've actually made a onion and potato food bot. So yeah, that was my final piece. He's uh, named as Snail Bot. And I think it's turned out to be really nice with those popping eyes and those that nice shell. And yeah, I think he moves uh, really fast so that's his power so moving on with day 10 the prompt was mushroom and 
I just went with the literal meaning of it. I was initially planning on doing the same thing which I did for the snail. And that was a uh, kind of a robotic, uh, maybe shroom, a ro shroom bot or some kind of something like that. So I was not feeling the way, like I was not feeling on to drawing some kind of machinery. So I just left it uh, like that and I just went in for some kind of cute character for the mushroom and I wanted to uh, make it look like it's very small so I just had to add some foliage here and there and it actually did justice to the whole piece. While adding in the foliage I, I felt uh, that I should add a uh, like a giant flower behind it so as to make the mushroom look like it's small so that's when I came up with this idea and I just made the flower beside it and I just uh, had to shade some areas because uh, uh, as you can see and then I went in with this cute little eyes and nose and then those mushroomy structures as you can see and as it's really evident so yeah i really enjoyed the way uh, i was making this because uh, overall I, I think this piece really turned out really turned out very well and I, I felt like like i did real justice to this piece and i really enjoyed uh, the way i was making it and here i went in with uh, some sakura jelly roll and I just randomly made some dots and um, initially I used to think that artists uh, I don't I used to think why do artists stress on these Sakura jelly rolls but I feel like uh, these are really nice if you want to add some highlights to your uh, paintings or sketches yeah these are just best because they are actually in pen form and uh, the kind of buttery flow they have, I really like the way they flow. So, yeah, that's what, that was my final piece, and I really enjoyed the overall aesthetic of the piece because just because coffee makes every painting and sketch look very vintage and nice. And yeah, as you can see, he looks really cute, and the way he's smiling and saying hi, I I think he's he's really adorable. And don't you think so? So, moving on with the day 11 prompt that was star. So, this next prompt had to be another one of uh, a kind of a mechanical uh, sketch. And I must say, I think I was really inspired with Jake Parker. And, um, and many artists in general i actually get inspired uh, inspired by many people not only jake parker any any artist which which i see or come across while uh, surfing on the explore page of instagram i think it's really amazing the way the way uh, instagram has actually categorized their uh, i would say uh, sections where you can actually check out photography page separately or comic page I think uh, they have done a nice uh, thing uh, by doing that because it has become much easier to identify things really and yeah moving on with this uh, sketch I was not planning on doing this Patrick star but uh, I think uh, I really like this character from uh, from this really nice SpongeBob cartoon, and I think he's the best friend. Uh, I think he he's the best friend that anyone can have, uh, and yeah, he's the craziest. And I think uh, he is not exactly Patrick Star. He's actually looking like uh, Patrick's uh, uncle. So yeah, he's looking uh, kind of bit old with those glasses and. Yeah, mechanical bot Patrick bot I would say and yeah I was really happy with the way it has turned out and yeah 
uh, overall uh, i didn't uh, go in with the print on his pants uh, i just thought it was looking uh, just exactly the way it was and i did add some shading here and there in the arms you can see just to make it look like it's it has a kind of a cylindrical shape to sometimes i feel like uh, sketches can look very flat if you're using one color or maybe monochrome color so yeah moving on with the next day's prompt it was day 12 and another prompt it was candle and was uh, evening and uh, not exactly evening i would say it was around 4, 4 o'clock I think 4.30 uh, and uh, because it was winter month uh, it's actually winter month it was kind of uh, it actually used to like sunset earlier like dark uh, background as you can see the shadow uh, I actually had my room lights opposite to where I was drawing actually need to get some proper lights because as you can see uh, properly like uh, the shadow of my hand is falling onto the sketch I'm doing and uh, I hope it's a bit clear but uh, um, I cannot help it because uh, I didn't actually had my uh, table lamp working I actually use those uh, Philips LED ones which have those uh, uh, shut a panel on sides and I think they are the best if you want to do uh, some kind of overhead uh, drawing uh, stuff it's best if you uh, are uh, doing some kind of uh, I would say maybe videos at night uh, I would recommend that because uh, especially from both sides if you don't want to have shadows and uh, maybe I had uh, this problem because I didn't have my lamp with me. And, yeah. and moving on, this uh, piece was actually inspired by Luminaire from Beauty and the Beast. And he's a sort of a candle. And this one was actually looking like his cousin. Luminaire's, uh, I would say, princey cousin. Uh, he had this uh, that kind of princey look to him. And yeah, I did went with the ombre effect on his uh, candle lit up uh, on his head and those two little hands with those cute smiley. I hope you guys uh, might have enjoyed the whole process and I actually did enjoy this uh, drawing this uh, another version of Luminaire or you can say uh, Luminaire's relative. I think he was named as Luminaire. I'm not sure. If I'm wrong, do let me know in the comment section below. But apart from that, I think uh, the whole piece did was nice. So day 13, sunset. Moving on with this piece, I actually was planning on doing a full page, uh, full page piece. But then I came up with this idea of making uh, a nice little portrait. Uh, I would uh, like to recommend one page in particular on Instagram. She does this really amazing sketches and I am just so amazed by the way she uh, does her uh, watercolor pieces and and I just oh, am actually inspired by the way by the way she draws stuff and uh, uh, her name is I think Rosie's uh, sketchbook uh, you should definitely check her out and uh, overall uh, so this is the time where you can actually I had to shift the camera a bit because uh, the power cut had happened and I, I did have like the generator on and water and all that but um, apart from that I did have to move the camera a bit uh, on the other side so you can actually see not properly see the way I was sketching so I did again change the camera setup and it was just a mess I, I tried to doing I, I mean actually I was doing the luminaire prompt the candle prompt and the other sunset prompt the same day so that's the reason why you are seeing the shadow so apart from that i think i really enjoyed the way the scenery turned out and those clouds and mountains and i wanted to give that that kind of um, i would say foggy effect and with the reflection 
onto the water along with some bushes and shrubs. I hope you guys enjoyed the way I made the Gofemba prompt. Like I actually compiled the whole week's prompt into one video. It was actually easier for me as well and I think it would be nice for you to get uh, like weekly, weekly videos uh, instead of daily videos. I think it, it just uh, helped me in uh, some way or the other. So do follow me on Instagram. If you're new to my channel, do subscribe. Yeah, thanks.